right. Well, with that, we have some more how these NFL teams got their names. Mm-hmm. Cool. This week, we're here for you. We're going to do the AFC North. Nice. Got my, where is it? There it is back there. Point with my wand. <laughs> Your penned wand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. I can take notes and cast spells. It's great. Be like Rita Skeeter. <laughs> I'll be like something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so we have how these NFL teams got their names, the AFC North. We'll start Boom. with we'll start with your team. Fairly obvious, Mr. Ed Allan Poe, uh, Baltimore native, or died in Baltimore, one of those. He lived there and died there, I know that much. I don't know if he was born there, but uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, we got the mascots, Edgar, Allen, and Poe, right? The three raven birds. You do. Oh, I just thought it was Poe. They have three, maybe, um, and they... Maybe Poe gave birth? Well, yeah, I know they alternated them a lot. Like, one game you'd see Allen, and one game you'd see Poe, and then sometimes you'd only see one for, like, several months. I don't know how they do it. But they got three of them. Hmm. I know that. Okay. The official answer for how the Ravens got their name is, the current team name was inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's famous poem, The Raven, which was authored in Baltimore. So that's where is. he lived when he wrote it. And died because didn't didn't did you go to his house like on field trip or ever do anything like that? Like, look, here's Edgar Allan Poe's hashtag, house. Hashtag no invite. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I did. Okay. I might have. It's I don't know. It's kind of one of those things you just stand on the street and you go, "Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yep, that's it." Yep. Mm. All right. Next one is the Steelers. Any guesses? Uh, all the steel manufacturing plants in Pittsburgh it would be my guess. Pretty much. So originally named the Pirates and struggling to find gridiron success, Art Rooney decided to rename the team and ask for fan suggestions. Of the many that he received, he decided to go with the Steelers to honor the city's heritage and the steel mills where a large part of his fan base was employed. Hmm. Yeah. That tracks. Yep. (laughs) That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next, we've got the Bengals. Care to guess? Well, I don't think they are a native species to the area, so I'm going to go with what we talked about last week and say they had like a, a special Bengal exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo, and that's what the the fans voted on because they love their Bengal exhibit, their tiger exhibit. Okay. So for the Bengals, Paul Brown chose the name to pay homage to the Cincinnati Bengals football teams that played in three previous American football leagues in the 1930s and 40s. The original Bengals got their name from coach and founder Hal Pennington, who, after walking through his mother's kitchen one day, noticed her Floyd Wells and Company stove had used a Bengal Tiger trademark, which quickly grabbed his attention, and the rest is history. They're named after a stovetop, huh? His mother's. Interesting. So what if his mother's stovetop had a, like, penguin on it? It'd be the Cincinnati Penguins. Or like the Cincinnati Platypi or something. Like, what if there was something really weird on there? <laughs> platypi. Is that is that it? Platypi? It's not like platypuses? Platypussies? I, I don't know. Platypi sounded sounded correct, platypi. I think. <laughs> I that sounds know. like a platter of pies. <laughs> just like a smorgasbord Ooh. of fucking... Yeah. Ooh. That's kind of like Cheesecake Factory's, like... Uh, like you know, competition is the the platter pie company. Mm. Plot. Mm. Did you? You know, it sounded good in my reach. head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got to think before I talk here. <laughs> no, it's all right. So another thing I saw was uh, since Paul Brown was basically like shunned from the Browns, uh, it said he he chose the colors he did for the Bengals. Basically, like fuck you guys. Like, it was close to the Browns' colors, so he was like, I'm taking my colors with me. Huh. Okay. So. Interesting. And then, lastly, the Browns. I'll give you, I'll give you a clue. It's, it's, or, <laughs> uh, it's not because they play like doo-doo. Oh, that was definitely going to be my answer. Is, I well, <laughs> how do we uh, name this team? Well, I took a big shit this morning. It was Brown. Okay. Um, it has to be somebody's name, if I had to guess. Paul Brown? I don't Paul know. Paul Brown, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Browns the Browns were founded in 1946 and as a result of a fan contest to choose their moniker were named after their first head coach, Paul Brown, who was already a popular figure in Ohio having coached Ohio State to a national collegiate football championship. I mean, I get he's like your like hometown hero and all that, but his last name was Brown. I wouldn't go. That doesn't scream to me like, oh, let's name our franchise that. Yeah. You imagine like what if every team did it? We'd be like the Dallas Joneses. Oof. Yeah. What the fuck um, is that? Who's your yeah. owner? Uh, it was Art Modell, so it would be the Baltimore Models. Is the store named after him? You know what? That's a good question. He it could be. He, he might own that. I don't know. Hmm. There's probably some way worse names out there though for some of these teams. <laughs> the Joneses isn't too bad. The Joneses, yeah. Although your logo might be somebody like Jones in, so you know, maybe it could just be Sam Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Picture him sitting on the floor in the elevator, just like uh, <laughs> with a shoe in his hand. <laughs> I could just hear the hear the announcers now. Anytime we're up by like twenty, it'd be like they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Mm-hmm. Isn't that a thing? Like a show or a keeping up with the Joneses. That does sound accurate. Yes. Yes. I don't know. 